Welcome to AtScale in our cloud transformation course. My name is Court Johnson and I'm the VP of Growth here at AtScale. In this course, we're going to show you how AtScale makes it seamless for organizations to migrate to the cloud without affecting the day-to-day -day analytical needs of the business. We'll be using an example of a cloud transformation from an on-premise Hadoop data platform to a cloud data warehouse in Amazon Redshift. But realize, AtScale enables cloud transformations between many popular on-premise data platforms and emerging cloud data platforms like Snowflake, Google BigQuery, or Oracle Cloud. In the first video of our cloud transformation course, Chris Oshiro, VP of Sales Engineering at AtScale, highlights why traditional architectures between BI tools and data platforms make it difficult to migrate to the cloud without business disruption. Hi, my name is Chris Oshiro. I'm the VP of Pre-Sales for AtScale. And today I'm gonna to talk about the challenges of cloud migrations. So why is cloud migrations difficult? So beyond just the obvious of migrating data and application rewiring, uh, there's some unique things about the cloud in terms of performance, uh, latency. Uh, sometimes you need to change the data to suit the cloud needs and, and you wanna minimize that. So what we're gonna go over today is how AtScale makes that migration better, easier, much more comfortable for your business, and why ultimately it provides the business a much more uh, appealing data definition and also better performance overall. So here on the left-hand side of this slide, you see what it's like before AtScale. And, and frankly, this is maybe pre-cloud, where you have various BI tools, all with their own sales, uh, all within their own semantic definitions and connecting to the business uh, and business data uh, using their own definitions, different type of tools, varying amount of performance. Uh, in order to then migrate over that, over to the cloud and in that skill world, you want to unify the data definitions and you want to also provide a consistent data definition across the different BI tools so that when someone is looking at a, a revenue definition in Excel versus a revenue definition in Tableau, they're the same. So let's take a look at what that looks like if you do it in uh, using a tool like Excel and uh, you hit the cloud uh, natively and directly. So first and foremost is an extraction of data, which means that you have a limitation of, of memory on the client side. It also means it's a dump of data, which the business doesn't necessarily understand, uh, nor do they want to use. You know, alternatively, if you use a tool like Tableau, Tableau will connect to the individual data sets uh, and you would have to bring them in, munch them in, and eventually create a fairly flat table as, as well. So from an AtScale perspective, the AtScale Design Center is a GUI interface where a data modeler is using typical type of skills, uh, Ralph Kimball fact dimensional modeling, where they're dragging and they're dropping tables in, they're declaring certain dimensions. Some dimensions can be the generate, the generate dimensions off the fact table, some can be very proper dimensions with their own backing table and their own dimensions, meaning that this is a star schema or a snowflake schema, or it could be a very flat table IoT data that we make look like a, uh, like a normalized view. So when you look at this inside of, inside of Excel, as opposed to seeing a flat table, you can see a, uh, an OLAP definition. So here on the right-hand side, we have a definition of metrics that are organized in the way the business wants to consume them with drill downs and attribution. So you can see uh, a visualization like a drill down on the right, on the left hand side, and I can double click on any one of these bar charts and make, maybe get a little bit more detailed, a little bit more granular detail uh, from the underlying data. The same thing is true in Tableau, as opposed to munging data sets together, the business will now see a superior, a superior data definition with customer attributions, drill downs, et cetera. And the business uh, prefers to use this approach because not only can they slice and dice on their own, but they understand this data. And then at the end of the day, day when we talk about data as a service or uh, you know, OLAP definitions, it's the business driving the analytics. So if you want to know a little bit more about this cloud migration and how we make this possible, uh, tune in to our next course and we'll show you some more. Thanks. To recap, existing architectures make it extremely cumbersome for IT teams to migrate to the cloud. Because each semantic connection between a BI tool and new data platform needs to be rewritten, businesses face tremendous amounts of downtime for their business when migrating to a cloud data platform. 
Implementing a modern architecture with a virtual data warehouse removes the friction of having to rewrite each semantic connection between a BI tool and the data platform it leverages. Be sure to watch the next video in our Cloud Transformation course where Chris will show you how AtScale's virtual data warehouse allows you to easily connect your favorite BI tools such as Excel and Tableau to modern data platforms like AWS, Snowflake, and Google BigQuery with one data definition. See you then.